What's going on, SMCC? Pastor Kyle here. I'm one of the staff members at the Draper Campus. I'm with Austin, my man who's taking the next step through baptism today. So I want to get to know you. I want to let people know who you are. So tell me, where, where'd you grow up and what'd you grow up believing in? I grew up in Riverton. Okay. Uh, born and raised. Yeah. And then um, I grew up in two different religions. Yeah. So the first religion I grew up in from an early age, yeah. about six. Mm -hmm. And I was in there until probably 12 to 13. Okay. And then decided that wasn't the route for me. Yeah. So I left and I kind of just wandered for a couple of years. Yeah. And then uh, it was last year I went into another one and I was enjoying it and yeah. I was kind of finding my way. Yeah. But uh, some stuff happened and I decided to go a different route. Yeah. Tell me about when you decided, you said this, uh, the religion you grew up with, you know, decided that wasn't for you before you started wandering. Tell me about what that was. What what made you decide to leave that? I felt like it was uh, too regulated in a way. I too felt regulated. like it was it was like going to school, yeah. but I was constantly doing exams. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you're constantly being tested, constantly trying yeah. to have to do, have to prove that. That's yeah. a rough life. So you wander for a little bit, um, and you said some stuff happened. Like, do you want to talk about that at all? Yeah, so... Uh, I went through, on October 15th, I went through probably the roughest breakup I've ever had. Sure. And uh, I was going to that church with her. And when it happened, I knew I, I couldn't do it. But I knew God was such a big part of my life that I had to go elsewhere. Perfect. And uh, that's when Amy and Drew brought me in and yeah. they were like, hey, this is, this is a good place. That's awesome. So you experiencing all these like high-end emotions and this craziness is happening and you still want to turn to God. And yeah. you say, Amy and Drew, they brought you here to South yep. Mount? Yeah? Yep. Tell me about what that was like, first time walking through the doors here. Oh, it was different. <laughs> it was really different. Yeah. But uh, I liked it. Yeah. It wasn't your typical setting. Yeah. I felt more at peace and just more at home. Yeah. That's and awesome. And after that first service, I was like, man, I'm home. Yeah, this man. is where I want to be. Man, I'm home. I love that. So tell me, about giving your life to Jesus. We say baptism is an outward expression of an inward decision. Was giving your life to Jesus just a process or was it one moment after that breakup? Or tell me about how that was for you. It was a process. Yeah? Oh yeah, um, especially over the course of the last seven, eight years. Mm. So a lot went into it. Yeah, I went back and forth those first few years, battled and battled. Yeah. And uh, over the last couple of years, it's really kind of just fell into place especially in the last three years. That's awesome, man. And I'm so excited with my relationship with God now. Dude, that's awesome. So tell me about why baptism, man? Why why, why, why are you going to get dunked today? Now that I feel like I'm in a place where I belong and I yeah. feel at home, um, I feel like the next step for me is to take that leap and dedicate my life and truly figure out how to follow Him in the best way I can and honor Him with everything I have. I love what you said, like you figure it out because that baptism is a first step and there's still a lot of road left before you. So yeah. tell me about who's baptizing you today. What role did they play in your life? Uh, Drew. Drew, okay. Yep. The guy who invited you the first time. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So what? how has he influenced you? Oh, he has been so supportive and he has been there for every question I've had. He has never strayed away from me or anything. He's just been there and he's been incredible. That's I, awesome. I'm very, very thankful for him. That's awesome, man. That consistency of community is crucial. Yeah. Well, man, thanks for sharing that story. I'm excited that you're taking this next step. I'm excited that Drew gets to be here uh, as you take this step. And, man, thanks for sharing that stuff with us. Yeah. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it.